Hash bar. Hash bar. So we're here with Kurt B on Hash Bar TV. We are not looking at Chinese pieces here. This is not porcelain. This is glass. Made to look like porcelain, basically. Hash bar. There's a white layer, and then a blue layer, and then a stencil goes on top. And then I use a sandblaster to carve away the blue to reveal the white. And then, and then the sensor's removed and reveals the image. So it's, it's multiple layers of glass. And then when it all comes out of the sandblaster, it's all like rough and, and blasted and coarse glass. And then it goes back to the heat and it gets polished, you know, melts it all back down to the smooth glass again. Yeah, because when I feel it, it feels like like I'm being tricked, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, it, it feels like like it's all the same layer right here. Yeah, it's, it's become smooth again. Yeah, yeah this yeah. is not a decal right here. Explain how hard it is to, to get this to stretch and to stay together like this. It is, it is tricky. You know, the floral patterns are are generally easier than like you know like a piece like this that has a face on it or something. You know, if it's something that's like a face, it it, it tends to. You know, if you stretch it out or, or twist it, it, it shows quite a bit more than like a floral pattern. The face right here? Yeah. So like, these faces? Know. Oh yeah, because you don't want to distort it yeah. too much. Yeah, like when I was working on it, I had it kind of compressed a little bit and she looked like she gained a little bit of weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a little pudgy looking. And then I stretched it back out and it, and it elongated in the face again. So yeah, while it's, it's in a molding state, like the image is constantly changing and you kind of got to manipulate it. Made these, you know, Glock style bubbler, and it, it became a hit. You know, people liked them, enjoyed them. And then after I started doing the blue and white China thing, the first thing I thought was like, oh, I'd love to do blue and white China glock. Guns are like, you know, you think of them as being uh, metal and hard, and, and you know, they're like, you know, it's uh, durable. And then you think porcelain's very fragile and delicate, so it's kind of like a mixed mixture of uh, contradiction. Yeah, it's a contradiction. Exactly, a good word. Yeah. Yeah, I like them. I, I think they're fun. Especially <laughs> one in each hand. <laughs> <laughs> they give you a sense of power. Yeah, I feel so powerful. Yeah, yeah, like, they put the coins in anyone. The Kurt B. Coil Money Collab. There's things that we, we had a hard time figuring out, like, you know, what kind of dabbers to put in his hand, and like, what yeah. kind of like style, you know, because the money's have character. They yeah. Really the money's have a lot of character. And I didn't want the character to be like an Asian man, you know, like, that yeah. just, it didn't add up to me, like, that wasn't the right idea. So I put the um, the stash, you know, mustache Sherlock in his hand to kind of, that's like a signature pipe that I make. And then the blue and white china is the signature thing I do, and the money is a signature thing that Quill does. So the identity of like the personality the money has isn't really like, you know, China man, you know. It's more, more about just the artwork of the, the piece. So are you going to be making more of these or are you done with no, them? No, it was a limited series. And you can hotbox this thing basically by flipping it over, front car with the front bumper, hit it like this, and every time you hit it, the cabin is going to fill white with smoke, and then you let it out clear. So it's a basically a hotbox, low mold of Volkswagen bug, slug bug. Has bar. Chilling at the head. Game pass, boy.